Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Loud with Maths and Stats uh, and this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with calculus and in particular differentiation from first principles, uh, is going to concentrate on the, the derivation of the derivative for the derivative of the exponential function. Okay? Uh, just let's recall let, let what the exponential function actually looks like. So let's just say let, oh, get a different marker here. Uh, let's say let's, let let f of x uh, be equal to e to the power of x. So we've seen this so many times. That's the exponential function. Uh, for this particular for this particular derivation, we're going to uh, require two facts. Uh, the first uh, is the concept of a derivative, uh, which uh, states that the derivative of a function f, let's say f prime of x, uh, is equal to the limit uh, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h tends to zero. That's our definition. That's our definition of a of a limit. Okay. Uh, but we're also going to need the fact as well is the Taylor series expansion uh, of e to the x for this particular derivation. There is there is another way that we can do this and maybe I'll I'll, I'll mention that in a moment. Uh, so the second fact that we're going to require second uh, is that e to the x uh, is equal to 1 plus x over factorial 1 plus x squared over factorial 2 plus x cubed over factorial 3 plus dot dot dot. It's an infinite, <coughs> it's an infinite series, uh, but this is what's known as the Taylor expansion of e to, of e, of e to the x. Uh, so let's get started. So we know that f of x is equal to uh, e to the x. So let's apply the definition of what a derivative is, and let's see what that evaluates to. Because then, what we'll have at the end of the at the end of the derivation is is f prime of x. So what we have is f of x is equal to, a to a e to the x. Well, then, based off the definition, so uh, let's say here's our proof. Okay. So from the definition, the definition of a derivative. Of a derivative, okay, we have that. Uh, I'm going to change marker. My markers are all going, are, 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 are all, are all dry now. Uh, we have that f prime of x uh, must be equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h, as h tends to, as h tends to, as h tends to zero. So what we need to do is we need to evaluate the function f of x uh, at x plus h. So therefore, we have that f prime of x uh, must be equal to the limit of, well, f of x plus h is simply equal to e to the power of x plus h minus f of x. Well, f of x is simply equal to e to the x. Which all needs to be divided by, which needs to be divided by h, and this is the limit of this particular this particular quotient as h tends to zero. <clears throat> now, what we can actually do here, the the rules of exponents, is that e to the power raised to the power of x plus h is the same as the product of e to the power of x times e to the power of h. So we can we can split this up based off based off one of our exponent rules. So therefore, we have the derivative. The first derivative of, of f of x is equal to the limit um, of e to the x times e to the h minus e to the x all over h as h tends to zero. And there's commonality here. There's an e to the x that's common. So let's just heist that e to the x out and let's see what's left behind. So therefore, we have, we have that f prime of x uh, is equal to the limit of e to the x times well, the e to the x is common. We're taking it out. What's left behind here is e to the h uh, minus minus one. So when we multiply out, when we distribute the e to the, e to the x across across this particular term here, what we end up with is e to the x times e to the h gives us e to the x times e to the h, uh, and then we have e to the x times minus one gives us minus e to the x. So this is all over, and this is all over h as h tends to tends to zero. Okay? Uh, so this is effectively a product of e to the x times this particular quotient here. So therefore, we have that f prime of x is equal to, we can distribute the limit. Okay, The limit of a product is the same as the product 